Bye, boys. We love you. Bye. Be good. Have a good day at school. Don't play with any of the bad kids. Don't eat any soap. Bye. Come on, Tide Pods? Yeah. It's a Tide Ad. Good morning, guys. Barely. Good. Good almost afternoon. Hey, banana with a banana. It's like a banana pod. Sting. Morning. Where are we going, Matt? It's a weird thing to just bring up. <laughs> Look at this thing that looks like a ding. And <laughs> let's talk about things. We're going to Austin right now. Well, we're going to the gas station first because, you know, gas is needed. And then, uh, yeah, RV show. Uh, they're showing RVs. Yeah, I don't know. My parents uh, even looked and they were interested in a Winnebago. So, I don't know. Maybe we'll go look and then make some suggestions and then try to get them to pull the trigger sooner rather than later. I mostly just want to look because I like to think about us in different scenarios. So I like to go look at the big fancy ones and be like, man, think about living in this. So it was actually a year ago that we bought our RV. Did this Chuck went about that? It's like, I just like to go and look at things and pretend to live in them. That's kind of what you said. Yeah. <laughs> Wrong with that? I don't know. We should start doing like more open houses with no intention to buy. That's why people go to IKEA. Oh yeah, I guess so. They go to IKEA, then they pretend that they're living in the places and they don't really do it. But it was a year ago that we got. That's why people go there. That we bought the RV. So pretty cool to go back as an RV owner now because whenever we went last year, we had no idea what we were looking for, what we were looking at. Um, so I think it'll be neat to have a different set of eyes and a different perspective whenever we walk through this year. So I thought we could take you guys along. I don't know if any of you guys are going to any of these expos. I guess it's... Right. Well, there's expos all over the place around this time of year. That's right. just whatever that's... sales happen. So Yeah, yeah. that's kind of what I meant. Yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy. Matt's going to get some tacos and then we're going to be there. So we will see you guys. But wait, there's more. We're also going oh. to go climb oh, as yeah. well. I guess we can include and that. And then with that, we're hoping to get a glimpse of Alex Puccio. <laughs> So yeah, she's just a, like a, I don't know, a good climber. And uh, so we're hoping to maybe just see what she's doing today because apparently she's uh, teaching some kind of seminar or clinic or something. And so, I don't know. It's just always neat seeing professionals in the area where you train. So it's, yeah. Seeing them in the wild. See them, see them. See them in the wild. <laughs> she's it's not pretty amazing. Yeah. Uh, if I could aspire to be like anybody in the climbing world, it's her. She's insane. I guess we could show you guys some climbing footage. I don't think I've shown any climbing in a while, so it might be interesting for y'all. So, so I'm working on a project. Maybe I can show oh you all gosh. that, but the only issue is uh, I do have a hurt hand right now, hurt wrist. So maybe I'll just work through the pain and just do it. Just for you guys. Or if Puccio's there. Or if Puccio's there. Look what I can do. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not that good. Ow. <laughs> yeah, ow. <laughs> Alright guys, we will see y'all at the expo. I hurt my wrist. <laughs> We're here at Taco Deli. Matt, is this your favorite taco ever? Uh, it's up there. It's more so the sauce. There's a specific type of sauce. They have. The sauce combined with the taco? Yeah. Oh, I'm gonna go on the stairs and see you guys in about a second. Trying not to fall. And then the coffee. Alright. Five. Take it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, with this one, I don't know. This one we can save time. Because the toilet is in the shower. I know, it's so got a little bit. Poop while you shower. I want this one. <laughs> we have one. <laughs> it's got a separate bedroom, but it's a just a travel trailer, so it's not a fifth wheel, but it's way longer. This is the bathroom. Folds down to bed or not? Probably. Or not. Is that the 
the shower? Oh, hey. Yeah. Wow. This is nice. <laughs> Whoa. That was a, the one you liked was a Thor. <laughs> Stuff for all this space. That's neat. Who are you? <laughs> Drawers and cabinets? That's what? Cool. Look, has a little tiny thing. That'd be our TV. That's, look at our new TV. <laughs> it somehow takes DVDs. <laughs> what? <laughs> it takes DVDs for that over there. Oh, I didn't see that. Yeah. <laughs> Cute.
All right, so we're done climbing. And now we're going to Whole Foods because we have a gift card. And <laughs> and what are we getting here, Matt? I don't know. There's a sauce called Doña. Here, hold this for a second. No, you hold it. You're doing good. There we go. I met my climbing idol. Your spirit animal. My spirit animal. Uh, who I aspire to be. For climbing. She's awesome. She does single arm pull-ups, guys, with a weight. That's intense. I can't do that. Can you do that? Uh, yeah, just on Mondays, though. That's my single arm pull-up day is Monday. Okay, here we go. It's been an eventful mm -hmm. day. We had the yeah. expo. And I wanted to go to... Climbing. I want to go play drums or whatever at the... Oops. I don't know what they're called. <laughs> Guitar Center? Yeah. Oh, I'm still filming. <laughs> <laughs> Ultra textured vegetable protein, not just texture. It's vegan, but I like the name it's of it. It's rice. Greek yogurt odyssey. Odyssey. This, you guys. Oh, this is delicious. It's a seasoning, and it tastes cheesy, and it's got uh, protein and fiber and B vitamins. It's really good for you, and it's great to add to anything savory. 32 bean and 8 vegetable soup. Look at that. They have Christmas lima beans. Christmas. We can't get it now then. Calypso beans, scarlet runner. I've never even heard of these. So you want jasmine rice. What does whole food plant-based mean exactly? Sometimes people's diets take on a religiosity of their own. I remember a man once telling me that he could never go plant-based because he could never give up his grandma's chicken soup. <laughs> and don't! <laughs> After I asked him to say hello to his bubby for me, I, I told him that, you know, enjoying her soup shouldn't keep him from making healthier choices the rest of the time. Right? The problem with all-or-nothing thinking is that it keeps people from even taking the first steps. Uh, the thought of never having pepperoni pizza again somehow turns into an excuse to keep ordering it every week. Why not scale down to once a month or, or reserve it for special occasions? We cannot let the perfect be the enemy of the good. All right, guys. So we actually ordered, I ordered a, it's a little crop top. So this is just something that I wanted to try out for myself, but the actual logo is on it. Check it out. Oh, tripping over stuff. Ah, it's so cute. It's just a super simple little crop top. I'll probably wear this just around like to the gym, but I just thought it was so cool. There's our logo. I also ordered one for Matt. It's a V-neck, just a simple V-neck shirt. Not a crop top, obviously. Um, it should be in a couple days. Really excited. What's up guys? It is Sunday afternoon. I was gonna say morning, but it, this weather feels like morning all day. And I thought we could finish out this video with some final conclusion thoughts on the RV Expo from yesterday. So of course we went and we were not expecting to get anything. But we had to tell ourselves we're not yeah. getting anything. <laughs> but to be clear, we did not get anything. <laughs> Surprise, it's right behind us. Yeah. Just kidding. So what did you think? We have a good quality trailer. Like it, uh, it has tank heaters, it has everything that we need. And we went through a whole year and really had no problems with the actual trailer itself except for right at the very beginning there was a small leak but that was fixed right away but I was looking at other trailers that were you know four to five feet bigger than ours and they're about the same price and I had to keep telling myself like oh but if we get a bigger one then we probably need a bigger truck and so we end up spending more overall mm -hmm. that kind of thing but yeah the trailers are putting out are pretty neat these mm -hmm. days like uh, almost all of them come with automated not automated but like automatic uh, leveling Oh thing. yeah. So, but of course if you're reading down the list like you realize oh it's three thousand extra dollars. That's interesting. But it's nice, they're nice. I was just thinking about how I don't know, they're really nice. We looked at a lot of the fifth wheels and I can't imagine having something that big now. <laughs> because they have two pretty much two bedrooms. There was one that we looked at, I was thinking of one and you know with the fifth wheels a bunch of you guys probably have them but you walk up the steps and it's usually a bedroom and a bathroom and then there was one that we went in and it had another bathroom I think it had another toilet and then uh, like another bedroom that could sleep several people I'm guessing kids it's just crazy to think about that that is mobile that is something that you just pull along the road it's crazy but it's so cool 
I don't know if we'll ever have something like that. Oh, well, we'd have to get a new truck. Yeah, we'd have to get a new truck. Um, the price of the actual trailer isn't terribly... It's like $100 more a month. Yeah, <laughs> Which it's, is not, nothing. it's not terrible in terms of what we pay monthly. But like you said, we'd have to get a new truck. We'd have to, of course, get a new trailer, go through that whole process. But I could totally see every couple of years, you know, upgrading to a new home. Why not? But we'd have to upgrade the truck first so that we can have that as a standard to pull something that might possibly be bigger. Everything that they put in price, so it's like, oh, you're only paying two fifty a month, three fifty a month. Well, they're doing it in uh, ten year, like, like it's it's a ten year plan, you know, mm -hmm. ten year payments. So, which is what less than a house? Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah I mean, overall, <laughs> for a house, you're paying it off yeah. for your life and your kids' lives. Just the idea of that, I was like, that's kind of neat. We can upgrade our house every couple years if we want to. But I still really like the idea of, I don't know what they're called. I mean, I guess the actual RV. It's the one with the- It's a C-Class. Driver in it. Yeah, it's a C-Class yeah, with the driver in it. <laughs> what we originally looked, <laughs> I still like- Winnebago's. Yeah, I still like that idea. But just for our starting, I think that the trailer has been the best way to go because it, there's a lot of learning curves and we learned a lot, but I'd still eventually like to have one of those too. I don't know, just had a lot, kind of threw out a bunch of ideas for us. It's always fun to go and see new layouts, different layouts, and just kind of envision yourself having that. Like I said, just knowing that you can possibly trade out your home every couple of years is pretty cool. Final thoughts, that's mine. Those are all mine too as well. I wouldn't mind trading it out, but at the same time, we are also, again, it's a 10 year payment. And so you're pretty much upside down for the first couple of years. Yeah. And so it's like, really, you're not gonna, you're gonna lose money trading a house in. So yeah. Our, this, our house. Not a terrible no. amount though. No, no, <laughs> it's not, it might be worth it. I just wanted to say thank you guys for watching. If y'all went to any RV expos, leave us in the comments below where you went and what your thoughts are. Did any of you guys, buy a new trailer that'd be interesting tell us about it that's it well hope you all have fun out there especially if you have a new trailer <laughs> bye guys